This is a quick video to show you how to tell between the fake tritium tubes and the real ones. And the fake ones normally have some kind of glow powder in them just here on the left. It's very dark just so that you're able to see the glow from these tritium tubes. I've adjusted the camera so that this roughly looks like what, uh, yeah, how I perceive them with the lights off. Okay, so yeah, you can see they have this sort of dim glow to them, especially when there's no other light in the room. Um, during the daytime, you definitely can't see them glow. You only be able to see them really at nighttime when maybe there's a little bit of ambient light coming through, but mostly, uh, yeah, mostly in just very low light conditions. And little close up of one of the tubes I have here with the green and blue, and green is the brightest color that you can get. Okay. Nice little keychain. I mean, they're tiny. Size of my, the top part of my thumb. Okay. And these are about one and a half centimeters by six millimeters. So, yeah, tiny little things. And I actually got these from Mix Glow. And one of the ways to tell the difference as well was just the price. And sometimes you might get ripped off as well if you're not buying from a reputable seller they might sell you at a high price but when you actually receive them you might get these other tubes but um yeah these ones this one is a pink but it's not very bright some of the colors uh, only emit a little bit of light compared to say yellow or green which are the brightest okay got some uh, another blue here and i think that's another green a tiny little green one here to the left also that little green one to the left is not really glowing that much as well. I mean, the other four are pretty good, um, but that tiny green one to the left, you can barely see it. And this pink one, you can only see kind of a faint glow coming from it. Okay, and orange here as well, which emits part partial light. So these here to the left are glow tubes. And if I just get a flashlight, hold it on top, and it's going to blow up the camera for a little bit. But uh, yeah, just hold it on top like that and turn it off. You can see here the tubes to the left glow very, very bright. Okay, much brighter than the uh, tritium tubes. But if I do it to the tritium tubes, watch what happens. Absolutely nothing. Okay, because there's no uh, none of that glow in the dark powder inside. And you'll find this glows a lot brighter at first, but um, after 20 to 30 minutes. Um, you're not even going to get this level of glow coming from the from these glow tubes. So these are a cheaper option, and I think they're pretty good if you just want to have something a little easier to purchase. Um, it's difficult to find tritium files on the internet these days, and uh, but I will leave a link in the description if you want to check them out. I buy from uh, mixglow.com, but yeah, that's basically how I tell. And you'll probably see some of these tubes advertised as tritium for, you know, a few dollars, up to $10 a tube. And if they're not from a reputable seller, you are most likely getting fakes. Um, just this little collection here cost about 200 Australian dollars for these ones, including the shipping on you. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave that in the comments and I'll get back to you. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe.